Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, March 20th, 2010. This week, what's your name? How to rename layers in Photoshop and Elements. What's in a name? In Photoshop and Elements, a name can help you easily locate a layer when the thumbnail is too small to be seen. When you're working on a layered document with many layers like this one, it's easy to get confused about which layer contains which image. Small elements like brads and staples can be impossible to detect on the tiny thumbnail even if you're working in the largest thumbnail size. This is when renaming a layer can save you time and frustration. To rename a layer like the staples on this project, simply double click on the name of the layer here in the layers panel. A box will appear around the name and then you can type a new name like staples left and then click somewhere on the layer outside of the name box. This changes the name to something more descriptive and it will help you find the layer later if you want to move it or delete it or alter it in some way. Renaming the background layer is a little different so let's scroll down to the background and try that. Backgrounds always come in locked so to rename the background layer double click on the word background and this activates the new layer dialog box. It will default to layer zero. You can either leave it that name or you can give it a new name and click OK. This changes the name of your background and it also unlocks it. Renaming layers is also a way to keep track of the products that you've used on a project. If you want to post your layout in a gallery, it'll be easy for you to go back and find the products that you used. Was your name?